Hey YouTube, it's Polly from Polly's Backyard. Today I'm going to be talking about how I like to protect my strawberry plants using rocks. Here's my strawberry plants. I have a ton of them. I started like two years ago with two plants. Uh, this season, this whole bed was filled with strawberries. I mean, these things grow like weeds. Uh, the issue is I have so many plants and I don't get any production out of them because the birds just... They eat them up, they love the strawberries. So this year how I'm gonna combat that is I'm going to be painting rocks red and the science behind that is that the birds will think the rocks are berries and then they'll go to peck them and they don't like to peck hard things which is understandable because it hurts their beaks. So then once they see the strawberries come out, they're just gonna think they're more red rocks. So we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, I've done it in the past, it's worked out well. So we're gonna do it here. Uh, they're just starting to pop out. Uh, all the ones that are pollinated are about that size and then we're flowering all over the place. And we got a couple planted right there. So it's a little bit later than I wanted, but now's the time to put out the rocks. So I just found a bunch of random rocks in the, uh, in the yard. All different shapes, sizes, not getting anything too big, nothing too small, but kind of about the size of an adult strawberry to young strawberries is what we're looking for. The next step is going to be rinsing and washing the rocks off. Uh, we're not doing anything too crazy here. I'm not trying to shine them up. I'm just trying to get the caked off mud and all of the grit and grime off of them. That way the paint will stick better and it will look better. Once we're done washing them, we'll just give them a quick dry and they'll be ready to paint. I use Rust-Oleum Gloss Enamel Protective Paint. Uh, the color I actually used is Cherry. They didn't have a strawberry one or else I would have used that. Uh, this is rated for outdoor use, so it doesn't really matter. Just get some that looks close enough to, to strawberries and make sure it's for outdoor use and you'll be good. We're gonna give the rocks a real good spray. That way it gets in all the pores and all the cracks and crevices because we want to make it as delicious looking as possible. Some people uh, get real artistic with it and they make them, draw them into actual strawberries. You don't have to do that. Uh, if you like doing the art stuff, then that's great, go for it. But if you don't, all you gotta do is spray paint them. After we flip them and spray everything down, we're gonna check them again, just kinda do any touch up. We want all those cracks and crevices all sprayed. We want to make it yummy and look like a delicious meal. Uh, once we're done with that, we'll let them dry fully and then we'll throw them in the garden. Rocks turned out really good. They're all done drying now, so we'll take a close up. Looks pretty good to me. I'm extremely pleased how these turned out. I mean, they look just like strawberries. Uh, even my chicken thought it was and got turned pretty quick. Looks like it works. So I'm just kind of placing these all around. Uh, good spots where the birds can see them. Also right where the strawberries themselves are actually going to be. Turned out pretty nice. Here's the end product. As you can see, it turned out really nice. They look just like strawberries, especially from the sky. So the birds should be right on them and, and get deterred pretty quick. As you can see here, the berries look exactly like the rocks. I didn't even know that the berries were ripening yet. I thought they were all just rocks till I looked closer. So extremely happy with how this turned out. Uh, this time last year, I wouldn't have even gotten this far. The birds would have even already eaten them, so could not be any happier. Here's my first berries that I picked out of there for this year. Uh, extremely happy with it. There's probably about 50 or 60 other berries about to ripen, and there was zero strawberries with any bird damage. Like I said, I haven't gotten any berries out of this patch in two to three years because the birds are all over them so this really does work and 
I hope you try it because it really, it really is amazing.